There are some animals who, if you upset them, you have no reason to fear. Anger a slug, no need to panic, bother a beetle, you can sleep easy at night, but some. There are some animals you do not want to beef with, as they will mess you up. These are animals you don't want problems with. Number 15. Crocodile Matt Wright is the star of the hit National Geographic show Outback Wrangler, where his special and unusual job is the focus. Matt is a crocodile wrangler, and he is responsible for removing the biggest and most troublesome animals, especially crocodiles, from places where they are a threat to humans to somewhere they are not. In the past, big crocs might have been shot, but Matt does all he can to make sure they find a new place to live where they won't bother people anymore, and where people won't bother them. Sometimes this means keeping a croc close to home, which is the case with his 17-foot long pet crocodile, Tripod named for the fact he has only three legs. This monster seems to have a good relationship with Matt, but that didn't stop Tripod biting the hand of a visitor, leaving him with severe injuries. And this visitor was lucky. Crocodile attacks are on average at least 100 times more deadly to humans than shark attacks. At least Matt will never have to worry too much about being burgled at home with Tripod out and about in the yard. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. The northern gannet is one heck of a bird. More specifically a seabird, it's one of the biggest species of the gannet family. Native to the Atlantic Ocean coasts, these things will mess you up if you disagree with them. They have a 170 to 180 centimeter wingspan and weigh 2.3 to 3.6 kilograms. Even in calm water, they are capable of achieving velocities of 55 to 65 kilometers per hour. When they see someone or something they want to annihilate, they will plunge dive through the air like a soaring missile. As always, comment down below with the hashtag juicy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Cone Snails Cone snails are a genus of sea snail that comprise more than 600 individual species. They are found in pretty much all subtropical seas, ranging from the Indian and Pacific to the Cape of Africa, the Mediterranean, and the coast of California. What's really cool about it is they do it in a really unique way. They have a wide variety of shells, which come in often spectacular colors and shapes. But it would be a grave mistake to pick one up from a coral reef, because while these cumbersome and slow-moving gastropods may look beautiful and harmless, they carry an extremely deadly venom. They have an appendage, which has been described like a hypodermic needle or a harpoon and they can launch it into the flesh of their prey, or into anything threatening them with incredible speed. The larger species contain a cocktail of toxins in their venom, which can easily kill a human being. These harpoons can penetrate gloves and wetsuits, as many over-curious divers have discovered after picking up a live one. Officially, 27 human deaths by cone snail have been recorded, but experts believe this figure to be far, far higher. The conus geographus is thought to have been responsible for at least 50 deaths, and that is just one species. This particular snail is sometimes known as the cigarette snail, since the amount of time a person has left to live after being stung by it is about enough time to smoke one single cigarette. Number 13. Giant Clam the giant clam is one huge mollusk. In fact, it is the largest immobile mollusk in the world. And these blue, green, and red monsters can grow up to six feet in length. After their juvenile period, clams will pick a spot on or near a coral reef to settle down 
and they will stay put for the rest of their lives, often more than 100 years. The biggest giant clam species are now severely endangered, but they have long been feared by divers and explorers, and tales of man-eating clams have been recounted for centuries. Explorer Wilburn Cobb recounted the death of a native of Borneo, whereby the diver drowned after his arm was trapped by a defensive giant clam. Furthermore, the U.S. Navy diving manual contains instructions on the best techniques for freeing yourself from the grip of a man-eating clam. The clams are threatened due to overfishing, and they are desired for ornaments as well as for their strong, aphrodisiac powers due to high concentrations of amino acids and zinc, which are related to increased sexual drive. This might explain why giant clams are able to release an astonishing 500 million eggs at one time. All they need is the right place to settle down and maybe the occasional diver to snack on. Number 12. Piranha the piranha is notorious all over the world for its extremely carnivorous and highly aggressive methods of predation. They have even starred in their own horror movies as the relentless monster fish that can strip a human down to the bone in just a few seconds. They are indigenous to the Amazon basin and grow to between 5 and 14 inches in length. They are notorious for their razor-sharp teeth, which grow in a single line on the upper and lower jaws. While the black piranha in particular has one of the strongest bite forces relative to size of any vertebrate. Not only can they bite hard, but they can also bite incredibly fast, shaving the flesh from their victims. Native peoples often use piranha teeth to form cutting tools and weapons. Attacks are rarer than the Hollywood movies suggest, but they do occur and fatalities have been recorded. In 2011, an 18-year-old Bolivian man was attacked by a shoal of piranhas and eaten while swimming drunk. And there have been several incidents of children being eaten by piranhas in Brazil, following the capsizing of boats or when swimming. Their fearsome reputation partly comes from an expedition by U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt, who visited the Amazon and saw a cow being shredded by piranhas in only minutes. So if you hear a buzzing sound out in the water, watch out for these swimming razor blades. Number 11. Portuguese Man O' War You'd be forgiven for thinking that this brightly colored, floating blob of jelly was in fact a kind of jellyfish, but the Portuguese Man O' War is not a jellyfish at all, but an unusual creature known as a siphonophore which is in fact a collaboration between a variety of separate organisms all working together to float one boat. One of these organisms is the gas-filled bladder, which sits on top and gives the creature its name, seeing as it resembles an old warship, the Portuguese being the greatest masters of naval warfare during the Renaissance when the Man O' War was first observed. Aside from the four parts which make up the foot-long float, the Man O' War also includes an entirely separate organism in the form of tentacles which can measure 160 feet in length. These carry a powerful sting and are used to kill prey which the man of war then absorbs. They often float in colonies of up to 1,000 bobbing through the world's oceans wherever the current takes them. And a sting from one of these may not be fatal for a human, but it is known to be excruciatingly painful while multiple stings could bring death to the victim. Number 10. Luring Octopus. The blue ringed octopus is another creature whose cute and curious appearance is not to be trusted. This brightly colored little guy lives in tide pools and coral reefs between Japan and Australia, and is known to be one of the most deadly animals in the world. One bite from the blue ringed octopus will kill a human in only minutes. They have yellow skin, but when they feel threatened, they change color to a pattern of blue rings, working as a warning to sign any predators thinking about an octopus dinner that they are about to make a huge mistake. While they only measure around 6 inches long, these octopuses can produce a venom that is high in powerful neurotoxins, and one bite is enough to kill 26 human adults. Within just a couple of minutes, a person would begin to experience nausea, breathing problems, heart failure, paralysis, blindness, and then often death. 
usually by total paralysis of the diaphragm and the suffocation that follows. The octopuses have special blood systems which makes them immune to the venom, which is produced by bacteria in the saliva glands, and mother blue-ringed octopuses inject venom into their eggs so the babies will also have the venom. This is one eight-legged creature you really do not want problems with. Number 9. Fangtooth moray Eel The snake eel family tend to live around the Gulf of Mexico or in the lower parts of tropical oceans in South America. One species is known as the fangtooth snake eel and is a specialist hunter of fish and crustaceans. In fact, it prefers to eat bony fish, as opposed to fish which are mainly comprised of cartilage. And so biting through bones and shells means that the fangtooth, as its name suggests, needs to pack a serious bite. Living 300 feet below the surface means they don't often pose a direct threat to humans, but they can grow to 3 feet in length, and this can certainly be a problem for divers who find themselves a little too close for comfort. Reports have stated that these eels can bite hard enough to take off a human finger, or leave a nasty fang-shaped hole in the flesh. A mysterious creature about which we know very little, one of these eels was found washed up on a beach in Texas City, Texas, following 2017's Hurricane Harvey. Number 8. Brazilian Wandering Spider the Brazilian wandering spider belongs to the genus Phonutria, which in ancient Greek means murderous. And this is not without reason. These spiders, also known as banana spiders and armed spiders, are one of the most venomous in the world. And a bite can be deadly to a human unless antivenom is applied. These massive spiders, which can grow up to 7 inches across, like to wander the jungle floor at night rather than living in a lair or web. They are recognizable by their special defensive posture of raising two legs up high, showing they are ready to attack. In the daytime, they hide away in banana plants or termite mounds. While the venom in these spiders is powerful, they don't always administer the full load, sometimes biting without venom as a warning, unlike more primitive spider species who attack with full venom every time. So if you're bitten, you might be lucky and receive a low dose, or none at all. However, if they do bite, then you're in for some serious pain and danger. Furthermore, their wandering nature means they find themselves in human habitats quite frequently, meaning this is a very dangerous spider. Even worse, due to their habit of hanging out in banana plants, they sometimes end up being delivered to faraway places and biting an unsuspecting person at the other end, which is what happened to a man in Bridgewater, England, in 2005, when he unpacked some bananas from the supermarket. Number 7. Poison Dart Frog The poison dart frog is a small frog measuring between half an inch and 2.5 inches long. They live in the Amazon rainforest and are remarkable for their bright colors, with different species displaying bright blues and greens, yellow and black, and many other combinations all of which let any predators know that this little amphibian is not to be messed with. The poison dart frog gets its name from the practice of native tribespeople dipping their arrows into the frog so that they are covered with its venom. Then when fired at an enemy, not only do they get an arrow through their flesh, but one tipped in some of the deadliest venom the jungle has to offer. The toxins in these frogs, at least in the deadliest species, known as the golden poison frog, are strong enough to kill 20 adult men. This works as a strong deterrent against predators, although some snakes have developed immunity, and so they do attack and eat these frogs. The toxins are made up of a cocktail, which contains chemicals which have great interest for the field of medicine, including a painkiller 200 times more powerful than morphine, as well as heart stimulants and appetite suppressants. Number 6. Fugu Fugu is a species of puffer fish which is eaten in Japan and has been a part of the traditional cuisine there for many centuries. However, unlike most fish dishes enjoyed by the Japanese, fugu is incredibly dangerous to eat. The liver, ovaries, eyes, and skin all contain a venom known as tetrodotoxin, which is incredibly poisonous to humans. And each fish only requires a pinhead-sized piece to kill a person. 
or has enough in total to kill 30 people. The removal of these parts of the fish requires incredible skill and, nowadays, is strictly controlled by Japanese law, since the number of deaths from poorly prepared fugu, where the venom has made contact with the non-poisonous flesh, is high. There is no known antidote for fugu poisoning, and so this $200 meal comes with a little anxiety with every bite, to uh, say the least. Once it was legal to eat the liver of fugu, as it was considered the tastiest part, but it is also the most venomous and this is now outlawed. Back in the 1950s, almost 200 people died from fugu every year, although now it's more like five or six. It was also once a popular method of suicide for Japanese who consider it honorable to die this way. In any case, the taste is said to be to die for, literally. Number five, hooded pitoes. Birds are incredible creatures, being flying animals descended from the dinosaurs is already pretty amazing when you think about it, but are there any poisonous birds? The answer now is yes, one species, the hooded pitoe. This medium-sized songbird lives in the deep rainforest of New Guinea, and it contains a kind of toxin in its skin feathers, and other tissues, which it generates from bacteria consumed in its diet. This works as a form of defense against predators, who learn pretty quickly to leave this bird well alone, as it is anything but good eating. In fact, other birds nearby have evolved a similar brown and copper color scheme as a form of evolutionary mimicry, which should make predators reconsider taking the risk of dining on them too. Even though the others are not poisonous, the poisonous nature of the bird was only discovered when scientists handling dead examples for museum collections noticed their hands were burning after contact, and further analysis uncovered this bird's poisonous secret, which is a poison 200 times stronger than strychnine. Number 4. Sea Urchin Sea urchins are a widespread creature, and this family contains as many as 950 species, living in every ocean and at depths ranging from the intertidal shore to 16,000 feet below the surface. They come in many colors and usually measure between 1 and 4 inches across, and they are slow movers, shuffling along with the small tube feet and using their spines for an extra push at times. There were also attempts to breed diadema in captivity and then let them out to sea. They are related to sea cucumbers and develop an unusual five-fold symmetry in their bodies as they mature. Humans have long been fascinated by them, but there are some species which are better left alone. One example is the common and widespread flower urchin, which lives in the Indo-West Pacific. It usually lives on coral reefs or seagrass beds and can deliver powerful stings when touched, strong enough to hospitalize a person, and even lead to death. These urchins can be especially dangerous for pearl divers as even though a full-grown man would probably survive this extremely painful envenomation, the temporary paralysis would likely cause him to drown. Number 3. Greater Weaver the greater weaver fish lives in the waters which run along the eastern Atlantic from Norway past Great Britain and down to Morocco. It lives in shallows, preferring muddy or sandy water, which only makes it harder to see. This is bad news for anyone encountering this fish, as it carries a particularly nasty venom, and its name, weaver, is one of the same root in Old English as the word viper. The venom is administered through spines on the fish's back, and it has long been notorious as one of the most venomous creatures in the Mediterranean Sea. While deaths from the sting are rare and usually reported as being caused by infection of the wound, the pain inflicted by the weaver is known to be among the most excruciating stings in the world. Fishermen have been known to chop their own fingers off just to relieve the pain, and people have reported that the agony takes up to four months to fully wear off. Many unsuspecting bathers have trodden on one of these fish while near the shore, since they like to bury themselves in the sand and are almost completely invisible. This surely is one of the most unpleasant creatures in the ocean, but the French have taken revenge on behalf of humanity, and the weaver is served there as a delicacy, with the spines removed, of course. Number 2. Platypus 
The platypus is one of the strangest animals in the world. Endemic to eastern Australia, this is one of the very few species of mammal to lay eggs. It uses an electrical field to sense prey, which it detects with the sensitive bill from where it gets its other name, the duck-billed platypus. Furthermore, it has feet like an otter and the tail of a beaver. So this is one bizarre-looking animal that scientists thought was a hoax when the first specimens were brought back to Europe. As well as all these other crazy features, the platypus is venomous. Both males and females have ankle spurs, which can, in the males, deliver venom. It is primarily used for defense and is powerful enough to kill a small dog, although it's not lethal for humans. Just because it doesn't kill doesn't mean it's any fun to experience, however, and a platypus sting can be excruciating, often leaving the victim completely incapacitated by pain. Swelling around the affected area can be huge, and the effects are sometimes felt for months after, often with a heightened sensitivity to pain. Since only the males have the spurs, it is possible that the venom is mainly used for fighting among themselves. But we can say for sure it's better not to get in the way of an angry platypus. Number 1. Diving Bell Spider the diving bell spider is a unique species of spider in that it is the only one known to live its entire life underwater. Once in a while, this spider will surface to replenish its supply of oxygen, but otherwise this arachnid is fully aquatic. It lives in freshwater habitats in Asia and Europe, such as ponds and lakes, and spreads from Great Britain as far as Japan, covering pretty much everything in between. The spider builds a silk structure, which resembles a diving bell, and this is how it retains oxygen when underwater. One of the cleverest methods of underwater breathing among all the animals. Unlike most spiders, the males are bigger in this species, although the females build bigger diving bells, and scientists think the energy they might have used for growth is spent on more elaborate silk structures. The diving bell spider is not venomous, but it is rumored to have a bite which can be quite painful for a human, sometimes causing inflammation and even vomiting or mild fever in the hours that follow the bite. That's all the animals you do not want problems with for today. Which animals have you had problems with? Have you ever stepped on a sea urchin or seen a man o' war in the sea? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.